Welcome back to the castle build where we are raising the tower again, raising the back tower. Uh, this is the last tower that had uh, some space left to go. This tower is was saved for last just based purely on positioning. We're just gonna raise this tower up, leaving spaces for the walkways, crenellating the the wall where we had not yet crenellated and punch a hole into this large rear tower and just finishing up the crenellations. Now I'm going to clean out all of the dirt that's inside of this tower. I wanted to bring this all of this down to the lower level of the left wall. So that wall is actually lower than the wall coming in from the right so I actually have to step down halfway along this tower. You see me just replacing dirt with stone. And then I came in and I laid in some wood. And here we go, coming through the entry towards what's going to be the main hall. And you see me in there dashing about, laying in some marble. Because I've decided I'm going to use marble brick, at least right now. I'm going to go back and I'm going to replace some of that marble brick with a few more decorative features here and there. You see me again leveling out some dirt areas, just putting in as much marble as I can, but just as quickly as I can. You see me punching out a little bit more into these, some of these towers that were originally closed off because they're going to be accessible from this big central area. Here I am inside this tower again, leveling everything off. And I'm going to lay in some more marble. And again, this marble is probably not going to stay. I'm going to eventually replace it with probably a mixture of different, uh, different blocks, different textures, because I think that's important to have some differentiation. And also, especially when you're up here on this pan zoom, you see how the marble just kind of creates this weird effect on the video. And it's actually more pronounced when you're in the game. And I don't like it. And I think breaking that up will be helpful. But also the white palette will give me a nice, open, fresh feel to create some decorations into the, into the floor. I'm trying to clean out the area in this big tower. That's a lot of dirt and a lot of stone in this big tower to be cleaned out. I don't actually finish cleaning this out. I do give up and go and do other things instead. Now, this main entry, someone called it a helmet, and yeah, it was sort of looked like a helmet. I finally just gave up and I ripped it out. I decided I don't want it. It doesn't feel right, it doesn't look right. And what I did is I went and I looked up some image files from some castles. And I decided that a lot of castles had towers on either side that kind of jutted out. And you see me building the beginning of, of that exact structure here. Now, my left tower is smaller than my right tower, you will notice. I didn't notice until later, and then I realized exactly what I did, um, and I have to go back and fix it. And I'm just bringing it up here, kind of creating kind of a circular oblong shape to it. And you'll see I created some, kind of a passageway. You see right there I saw that I screwed that up, and I'm going back and fixing the tower. I created sort of an uh, a short passageway between the two towers on the top. And I do come back and fix that, because I, I decided I didn't like that either. Here I am dashing around this tower, trying to decide on roofing material, and decided that I didn't really know what I wanted. I do eventually go with the nether brick steps. I go with the nether brick steps because they're very rich. Now you see me here, I, I kind of created a closure across that, that entryway. Um, and then I ended up with these really tall windows. And again, going around just kind of laying down some nether brick steps to try to get a feel of whether I liked that look or not. And I do actually end up having problems with the look. You see me going to this far tower here, and I actually decided this far tower, because it's going to be a major watchtower, it needed to go up two more levels. It was going to go up one more level like the rest of them. But I decided two levels was better. 
so you see me just building that up. I did knock out that extra entry list, you can kind of see what I was doing. Now you see me coming, dashing back. I realized I'd taken up these towers too tall. So I ripped off one layer, and now I'm just going back, laying in another brick. And that also created, fixed kind of that oblong look to those windows. Uh, made it look a little bit better. And I just kind of closing off, sort of getting a feel of what kind of roof I wanted before I move on to this corner tower and tear it down one level. Here we go, laying in, and we're going to sort of create a slope, a gentle slope up to this. It is much easier now that they've added the automatic steps, where the steps automatically rotate into a corner. It does make it much easier. Now here I'm sort of copying basic look that we had with the first tower, or the first entryway, with the side entryway sort of the tower to center feel. A little bit smaller because this, is, this isn't an important entryway. You see me topping it off and creating the, the final peaks for this tower. Now I don't feel like this worked necessarily. I, I did decorate, you see me decorating with a little bit of nether brick posts and I kind of created a squared structure. When I come back to this big tower, you'll see me squaring it off. And I was really struggling with the look that I wanted because of those the way the fences now automatically make a corner. It actually started to confuse me a little bit because I'm it's been a long time since I've done a peaked roof and peaking with the steps that automatically rotate was a little bit different than what I was used to. Now there's something else that you might notice as well. There are no overhangs. I didn't overhang the the, uh, the windows that are facing out, looking out over the town. And I didn't realize that until later. I do come back and I, and I do fix that. Now here I am starting the work on what's going to be the central hall. And I'm just using stairs, upside down stairs and regular stairs. And then I run a, a big main spar. And then I, I try to lay in some, some bracing every five or so blocks. Now that didn't really work out because the one I'm working on there, the third one in, it has nowhere to go. <laughs> so I do end up having to remove that. And now I'm putting in kind of a central area so that I can have a spar coming back from the left and right side. And I'm just creating the bracing on either end for that as well. So that we'll have sort of a little tower in the middle where these two big braces meet. just kind of making it more of a large structure there. Now for flooring in these towers, I went with mahogany. And I went with mahogany because it, it's a very rich looking wood. It's also relatively rare, at least on this server. And that felt right for a, a castle tower like this. It just felt right to use a rich, rich wood punching holes out for windows, and I'm going to come back and glass those windows in later. And I kept taking that tower up, and, and I stopped there because I wasn't really sure if that's where I wanted to stop the tower or if I wanted to go up another level. So I decided I'd come over here and focus on this tower and reproduce the same structure. Now, the floor is four blocks up instead of the usual three blocks. And the reason I did that is, again, because it's a, ta a castle. I felt that the four blocks was going to give me just a little extra added room so that I can create some, some interesting rooms. Now here you see I decided I was going to take this up one more level. Uh, and you see these corner windows that I'm making as well. I really like those corner windows because they kind of, they, they give a, a, a change to what otherwise would be a very monolithic corner. And also it's going to provide some interesting views, I think, for the, the residents. And again, you see the, the richness of this mahogany. I really do like the, the way the mahogany looks. Now I'm dashing over to the smaller tower. And this tower, I'm just, I wasn't really sure how high I wanted to bring this tower up. So you see me dashing around, just kind of laying in the basic groundwork. I'm not really sure, do I want to take it up a, a level beyond what I'm doing right here, or not? 
that was kind of an open question. I'd laid in the groundwork for it, just in case. Now as we come up over the castle, you see me back in that back big tower. That tower is going to go up, 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 up. And I needed to bring it up really high because otherwise the front towers almost made it look too small. Uh, when I was standing in that where the camera started, it just felt like that big black tower just wasn't big enough to, to feel like the major tower. So we really wanted to take this tower up into the heavens and you see I'm actually going so high as to go outside of the camera shot. I believe I was up at uh, level 115 or 118 uh, when I finally dashed down and started kind of messing around with that tower over there and then messing with some crenellations that were missing. And there I'm, I'm plotting out with what I'm doing next. I decided I was going to take these front towers up because you see just how big that tower ended up back there. So I felt I could bring that tower up just one more block without really impacting that big main tower, especially once I start decorating that tower. Now we're trying again with the, uh, the roof, and then I realized I needed to bring it out a little bit. Stepping it out a little bit creates a rain shadow. And I kind of got a feeling for it, and then I, I dashed over to the small tower. Still wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I started looking around and decided I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I went to the, the uh, lookout tower and started building its roof. Again, we want a sloping structure to this. We don't want it to be a big flat slab like I accidentally did on that other one. Now here you see that I am going back and retrofitting the entryway to have an overlap as well. And this took a little bit of doing and there's actually steps that I just left and they're covered up. You'll never see them but uh, just made it easier for me not to break everything out. And then I just destroyed this, <laughs> this uh, tower here. That roof was just wrong all the way around. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel like a castle roof. It felt sort of like a... I don't know. It just didn't didn't feel right. And you see how I'm creating this sloping feel on the corners. So it sort of works its way slowly up before it peaks out at the very top with a nice flag. We'll put a flag there eventually. And I'm just reproducing the same on this secondary entrance tower. Again, creating that overlook or the overhang for the soldiers. And here's a view of me dashing around this far tower over here, trying to build it up. I kept struggling with this one. The 13 circles, which is what that tower and the tower I'm working on um, on the left there, those are 13s. And they have a little bit different structure than the 15s, which are the ones I've used for the corners and for the ones I'm working on now. It actually does create a difference when you're building the roof. So it did create some struggles for me. I was trying to reproduce the 15 roof, but you can't reproduce a 15 roof on a 13. So I, I had to kind of think it through, and I kept having to leave it and come back to it. You see me just building this roof up, and it, it does take a little bit of practice. And you just sort of slope in the, the main walls, and then it, it kind of it becomes sort of an exercise in what looks best for the areas where it's going to slope in. Here we go, making up the last areas here moving on to the very final area where it becomes just a circle, or a square actually, of uh, another brick. Having gotten that one done, it made doing the second tower so much easier. We have our overhangs to, to protect the windows, they don't get splattered with as much rain, and they just look nice. Very big and lush, tall roofs. Also, because those roofs are so tall, you can also make an attic up in those roofs, which is actually going to be interesting. I I'm, I'm have some thoughts for a couple of these uh, towers. So let me dash really quick over to this other tower. I'm trying to mirror these two towers. And it's, it was just, again, struggling with the uh, 13 circle versus the 15 circle, but I 
finally got it there towards the end, and there's actually a spot for torches. So here we are, looking at our castle, flying up over our new entryway. I like it so much better. Our tall front towers that have their roofs, the huge black monolith of a tower that needs some decoration. Our entryway, our side entryway, is just about complete. We're missing, of course, roofs on the back here. We'll get around to that. And I finished up that roof on the, uh, the smaller 13 tower. It's a mirror image of the tower here on the far lookout. And as the sun sets and the torches start to display, you can see the, the grandeur of our castle, missing all of its beautifying factors, of course. But we've got our big marble floor in here. This is going to be the big central hall. So this is the castle so far. Uh, give your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this castle and what else might need to be added. Bye.